Wildflowers, sure they're pretty, but what do they do? Unfortunately, we too often ignore the role of flowers, but they're an important part of their plant community. In fact, let me give you two examples of wildflowers that have special roles to play. This is lupin. It's a member of the legume or pea family. The roots of lupin have bumps or nodules on them which house bacteria. These bacteria are capable of converting nitrogen from a non-usable form to one the plant can use. It's like having a fertilizer factory right in the roots. This is obviously beneficial for the lupin, but can also help other plants growing nearby because the nitrogen content of the soil increases. This is a cushion plant. We call it a cushion plant because of the way it grows like a big pin cushion on the soil surface. Cushion plants often grow in windswept areas and where water is scarce. By staying low to the ground and having a very compact canopy, the plant is able to conserve water. But cushion plants also help conserve soil. This dense mat catches soil particles being carried in the wind. The next time you're admiring a wildflower, realize that it's not just a pretty face. It's an important member of its plant community. From the University of Wyoming Cooperative Extension Service, I'm Zola Ryan.